this is the start of the UBC Grand Prix 2015, the men's 3-4 combined race. I'm actually a Cat 4, and I guess haven't been racing very long, but so I just decided to register for this course as part of the UBC Super Week. So that was the start of the race, and <clears throat> the guy who started in front of me is actually from France. And giving you spoilers now, he wins the race. Just over here from France, winning races, I guess. As you can tell, we start off on in the middle of the climb, we take the first corner here, leads to a little stretch of the road just before the downhill. This pace is picking up a little bit, but it's normal speeds for now still. You can tell I'm already kind of near the end. I don't actually know that I'm near the end of the group until I'm like on the downhill and I'm looking around. So you can see the field is fairly large, not ridiculously so. And this is the downhill part. You can tell I'm just Spinning pretty quickly already and just cruising around the back, seeing seeing what's going on, scoping out the field. Not too, too confident in my riding abilities. Legs weren't really feeling it today or the past week. So going down this downhill, it's pretty easy just to draft people and kind of hope to recover. That was the game plan all along. Hit it on the uphill and then try to draft and recover on the downhill. So this is the corner after the downhill. The road is still pretty wide here. Taking it nice and wide. We have the entire road here to ride. Get some nice drafting going. And then we approach this corner, which is where the road narrows. So depending on the line you take, you might be scrubbing your brakes a bit. And this is where my problems are sitting in the back. It's just the speed slow down so much more as it propagates from the top. Slows down a bit more, even more here, and just a bit, a bit of a technical turn on the roundabout into the climb. And then you're just jumping on the pedals and hitting the climb hard, hoping to stay in and draft. You can tell I'm just kind of stuck in no man's land here, just not behind anyone, doing a bit too much work. You see my heart rate going up already. It's hitting 182, which isn't too, too bad. I've my max is around 205 or so so this isn't hitting the max yet but it's hurting and so yeah this is just stay in the back here I realize that now I'm like at the back of the pack and just trying to move up a bit but also trying to race a bit smart and trying to just draft people so I'm hoping to sit behind someone and have them pull me back to the group which is just bad racing in general I think you should just try to close the gap yourself and get get into the pack as you can tell you can see the corners here you can see the entire pack up there you can see how far behind you are so I'm just hoping that like the group up front hits the headwind and just slows down a bit and not that many people are working up front so I can slowly draft my way back down and just try to recover before hitting the climb again so right now it's it's been it's working pretty well just cruising down hoping to catch the pack which I do and then back into the bottom stretch I try to I try to take a better line into the group so I can get a better positioning but it turns out that this inside line isn't very good when the pack is this wide because it goes from maybe like six or seven across to three or four across into that turn, into the narrow turn. And then that's just, that sums up my race. I'm just in the back, trying to catch up, slowing down here, sitting up and accelerating. And then accelerating a bit, hitting the roundabout, and then accelerating again. And then hitting the climb hard, just trying to hang on. Probably doing around 500 watts here, I'd say, going up this hill. It's not a big hill, but it's big enough to make you hurt. And you can slowly see people just getting dropped off the back. I'm near the back as well, so it doesn't help. And yeah, that's the first lap or so. I'm just in the back still, hanging on, trying to try not to work too, too hard since the race has just begun but I'm already at 190 
BPM, and it's, it's not really slowing down. Yeah, taking these corners, you can see how strung out the race is already. So I'm just, I'm already tired. And I'm hoping like I can just sit on a wheel and have somebody pull me along and I can draft all the way back to the group. Yeah, you can see already at the front, there's people going off. Very, very strung out already. And here I am, like, chasing the downhill, trying to catch up. And yeah, so it's no time for recovery, and I'm pretty much in the red now. I'm 191 BPM, spinning downhill, trying to catch the group so I can draft a bit. And yeah, you see this gap increasing, and it's just discouraging. You hope that they slow down in the bottom a bit, and they do, so you can catch up. But it's... There's no, no time for recovery. And you see that gap, and I'm just falling behind. Catch the group just before the corner again, but it's, yeah, it's just bad racing. This is what you shouldn't be doing, I guess. This is why I'm still in the fours. I'm gonna catch the group again, but if you looked at my heart rate, it didn't change at all, so I've had no time to recover and then I'm just hitting the climb again no time to recover just hitting it hard slowly slowly moving back a bit too on the climb it's a gorgeous day outside for riding though it's, that's the nice thing you can tell this rider is already done. It's about three, two or three laps in. He's he's done racing. Help on this guy's wheel to try to catch back on, and up, up we go again. Very very strung out. The pace is very high for the first la couple laps. I think higher than usual. And here I am, just hoping to get pulled back <laughs> into the group. Once again, my heart rate's at 200 now, pretty much at like 97% on the max. And then the downhill again, I'm gonna have to chase, no time to recover. I'm just chasing oh, some guy's wheel, so I hop on it, hoping he'll pull me back into the race. Feeling pretty tired already. I'm hoping this isn't the pace, so it like, gives me hope to just to keep riding and push myself to catch back onto the group. As you can tell, yeah, just at the bottom, the, the group slows down, as I hoped they would, but I'm, I have no time to recover. So I'm just going along still and just trying to hang on. And then here's the rest of the race, kind of sped it up a bit, so you guys don't have to watch through me being miserable it's just going along up 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 not much really happens see I'm just still hanging in the climbs hasn't really gone too hard yet but I wouldn't say it's easy either so it's just going along I'm still in the back still chasing the field is still very very strung out but it definitely slows down a bit, and like I have some glimpses of hope that I can stay in the pack. So I'm just sitting in the pack and just hanging on. Really, I'm just already tired, and my legs aren't really feeling it. And just going up this hill over and over again just takes its toll. They go faster and faster because of pre laps. And yeah, it's just it's not too fun. You see the gaps increasing every a little bit more every single time. So I'm chasing the downhill again, chasing the uphill. I catch the group for maybe maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, sitting in it for a bit before I have to hammer again. And that sums up my 3-4 race. It's, it was a good experience. It showed me what I need to work on. And uh, yeah, it's, I had a bit of fun for the 18 minutes I rode for.
Hey, I'm